I waiting for this moment 13 years. Since I start to watch UFC, I was like, ah, I want to fight there, I want to be a champ. People look to you like, ah, that guy is the best. They're going to start the dream. When I get the contract, I have to keep working harder than now to get my another dream to be a champ. I'm Carlos Prats, I'm 29 years old. I'm from Taubaté, São Paulo, Brazil. And tonight I come to knock somebody out and get my UFC contract. I was born uh, in Taubaté, not on the best place to grow up, you know? <laughs> a lot of crime around. I saw a lot of things in my neighborhood. Since one year old, uh, my father passed away. And since then, my family is only me and my mom. I did a lot of trouble to my mom, you know, bad choice. But I'm lucky I have like my mom always with me and help me to choose the right way. Start to train a lot of sports, but I like more fights. Since then, I start to train Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, and to today I'm here. At that point, I stopped everything I was doing wrong. I'm gonna give my, my energy, my attention only on to be a fighter, a good fighter, and make my mom happy. Tonight, yeah, prepare for everything. I'm ready for everything. I'm BJJ Black Belt. I have more than 100 fights of K1 and Muay Thai. So the fight is gonna end after I knock him out. Tonight, you wanna see why they call me Nightmare. I've had this dream, honestly, since I was about 14 years old. My willpower is stronger. I've just been through more stuff than most guys, and I just, I want it more. And I won't stop because, for me, this is all there is. There is no plan B, so I'll make it. My name is Mitch Ramirez. I'm 30 years old, and I'm fighting out of Syndicate MMA. Really early on, I kind of got set apart on being a bad kid, and that was the beginning of a long, brutal road. By the time I was in middle school, I was getting arrested. By the time I was in high school, I was a heroin addict, cocaine addict, and everything else. Dropped out, I didn't finish high school. By the time I was 19, I'd overdosed three times and realized that if I didn't get under control, I wasn't gonna make it much longer on this earth. I went to my parents' house and I knocked on the front door and I just begged them to help me. They took me to a detox center within like 30 minutes. Two weeks in detox, I suffered seizures. Once I was healthy enough, I went to rehab. I spent 75 days in the treatment center. After I got out of rehab, unfortunately, I decided to go hang out with a couple of my old friends. They were still doing the drug, prescription pills, doing all that stuff. Within about 24 hours of that, I was arrested on a home invasion. I robbed a drug dealer, woke up in jail, looking at a five year to life sentence in the state prison. And once that happened, it was like everything you thought you were gonna do, it's over. There's no more, these charges aren't going away. You're gonna go away for a long time. And I ended up doing 40 months in prison. I ended up getting in a fight, but we ended up becoming friends after, honestly. Like that night, there was a Fox fight night on. And he goes, dude, I used to fight. I was a heavyweight. You're so talented. He's like, you have to do this. He's like, you're gonna be fighting there with those guys. And at that moment, I realized he was right. And I was like, I'm gonna be in the UFC. And I went to practice the day I got out. Found the nearest gym and went, and you think it's all gonna be perfect. I hit so many roadblocks. It has been such a struggle. While I was trying not to look back at my past, it was constantly in my face, but never lost a fight. 7-0 as a professional, my mentality, you can't break me. I hope to inspire other people like me. If you just put one foot in front of the other and you refuse to give up, you'll get somewhere. And I'm here to show the world that I am a world-class athlete and that I will be a force in the UFC. There's nothing that can stop me. Se vem aqui mostrar o meu trabalho, sai daqui como mais novo contratado do UFC. Meu nome é Marco Túlio, eu tenho 29 anos, sou natural de Uberlândia, Minas Gerais, presidente da Chute Box Diego Lima. É, aqui em São Paulo mesmo, pô, tem Charles do Bronx, Alan Puros, Daniel Willicat. Pô, treinar com essa, essa galera toda realmente é um sonho realizado. Você vê tudo acontecendo, todo um sonho de infância, sendo realizado por pessoas próximas, né, que só te motiva, te faz aquela chama arder mais pra conseguir correr atrás também e fazer o mesmo. Will finish this fight, grounding and pounding his way to a victory, and that is all. O cara que mais me empolga nessa luta é o cara gringo. Eu sempre quis lutar com contra os caras de fora, me testar com internacionalmente. Então, estou muito empolgado para essa luta e estou pronto para fazer acontecer. Cara, é um cara bem forte, mas eu treino com os melhores do mundo. Eu tenho certeza que nada que eu tiver O que acontecer lá dentro do cage não vai sair nada fora que é só nossos treinos dia após dia. Na hora que fechar a porta do octógono, eu vou mostrar minha versatilidade, minha versatilidade, minha inteligência, meu cage de luta. E pode ter certeza que pode esperar uma guerra. Então, então vai ser empolgante porque eu vou mostrar minha agressividade o tempo todo. 
Vou procurar a vitória, seja em cima, seja embaixo, o tempo todo. E ela só vai acabar de ouvir, com os levantando meu braço. Every time I show up, I'm gonna give my all. I'm ready for the UFC level competition. My name is Yusri Bagari. I fight out of Jim Royale and Team Teixeira. I come here to get a UFC contract and prove myself throughout the ranks. I'm born in Amsterdam. I got into martial arts through kickboxing when I was 16. I never thought I was gonna amount to anything, but I started beating all the stronger kids and all the guys that started young. And I started believing it before I knew it, I was fighting on the world stages. Another big right. He's finishing big knee as well down. He's finishing up, he's covering up. The referee stops it. A great win for the babyface assassin. Yeah, amazing. Great finish. I fought for the glory title three times and I was the tournament champion. The biggest rivalry I had in my fighting career was with Alex Pereira. Uh, we had three fights. I won the first, he won the second and the third. But after a few years, you know, after the kickboxing rivalry, he went into MMA and he came by my gym and we trained together and he liked it. He felt like I can put some fire to his shins and then he invited me to his camp for the Adesanya 1 fight. From the day I came, he took me out in Danbury and we became friends. I'm very, very grateful to be part of that team and to learn from him. Shut it down, baby! I gotta win this fight because I only get one shot. This one shot speaks for the 11 years that passed all these fights that I had in kickboxing and MMA, the struggles, the training, the ground work, the sparring sessions, they all come together in this one night. And I'm gonna show and give everything I got. I'm gonna make sure that's enough. This is my destiny. This is the moment I've been working towards my whole life. This is just a stepping stone to the other great things I'm gonna do. And tonight, they're gonna all see. My name is Twilight Timmy Kwamba. I'm 24 years old. I fight out of BK MMA, and I'm here to get a UFC contract. When I was 10 years old, I took my first amateur kickboxing fight. I knocked the kid out in the first round, and so happened to be my coach, Dewey Cooper, was a ring announcer. And after the fight, he told people that I was the future. You know, I, I met him. And then when I was 19 years old is when he became my head coach. I just had a strong mind because I just knew that I could really be a world champion one day. I'm always in the gym working hard. There's nothing that I'd rather do, you know what I mean? And that's why I was able to make it this far, and this is why I'm gonna go even further, because I just always knew I had that it to be a champion. You know, it's an amazing feeling knowing that I'm only one fight away, but I just know this is where I belong. Like, all this, all the cameras, everything, this just feels so natural to me. Like, I know I'm meant to be here, and I know I'm meant to do great things. I just love to fight. Like when that bell rings, it's just my favorite thing in the world. There's really nothing else that compares to it. The only thing that I would say is better is just winning. Like winning just, it's an addicting feeling, you know? And that's something that I could just never get enough of. There is no plan B. This is my moment that I've been working towards since I was a young kid. And nobody's gonna take this away from me. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna take my opportunity and I'm gonna get that contract. This is the culmination of 13 years of grind of me just pushing towards a dream I've had since I was a little boy. This is coming to fruition and this is my chance to just reach out and grab it. I'm Matteo Vogel, I'm 27 years old, and I'm from Fight Factory out of Ottawa, Ontario. My combat sports journey begun when I wanted to get into martial arts as a kid. I was always a UFC fan. Spent the first 12 years of my you know, school as an ADHD kid, getting in trouble, getting in fights here and there. Um, joined high school wrestling and channeled me and made me want to do BJJ. With every chance I could get away from school to be in the gym and drill and train and be the best, like I was driven. I've been training full time basically since I was about 16. I really dove into BJJ. I had just come out of hockey and I think I found the outlet to give me that competitive aspect of my life. I started competing and I was hooked. Well in 2017, we started hitting pads and training MMA in a park because we didn't have a gym. Six months later, I made my TKO debut, one first round submission. I had zero amateur fights. I hopped in as a professional right away, and I knew that like this MMA thing, now was the time. I'm gonna put on a show against Tim Kwamba tonight. I'm gonna stand in his face, I'm gonna pressure him, put him on his heels, show a dominant performance from start to finish. I'm coming in there for a gruesome finish, and I'm going in there to make an impression on Dana. To realize my dreams, and to be a UFC fighter, it's just a start. It's just a tip of the iceberg, and uh, you know, there's a lot more to come. I always have big dreams, and so I'm excited to go chase them. My name is Thomas Peterson. 
Uh, I'm fighting out of Webster, Minnesota. My team's the Striking Institute in the basement gym. And uh, my goal is uh, you know, win a world title one day. I started wrestling when I was uh, three years old. My dad wanted to be involved with our childhoods more than anything, and he wanted to do something that he knew what he was doing, could help coach, and so I started very young, but I, I freaking went straight for the world. I went to a JUCO named Iowa Central under Luke Moffitt. I went there on a, a trip, and you see this, this board with John Jones and Cain Velasquez and Kobe Cunnington, and you know, you go up there and you go, and I looked at that and I said, I wanted to be on that board, you know, because they only had national champions on that board. And so I told Luke, I said, hey, I'll, I'll be here, but make sure you get my name on that board this year. Just to be a part of that that group, you know, that it's just super cool to be a part of that brotherhood. You win a national title, you get a tattoo of the Trident, you know, so we got a, I didn't want to show anybody ever, but, but I don't know, kind of was, I was all these guys coming up, you'll see Richie Lewis has one too, any, any national champion usually gets it. And so it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to be a part of that group. To see my name up on that, uh, board for national champions, it just, it feels like uh, for to see them guys that are world class fighters and to have my name up there with them guys, it just feels like a bond, so it feels like it, it's meant to be there. My name is Chandler Cole, I'm 28 years old, and I fight out of WC3 in Copeland, Virginia. My record is 10-3, uh, and three. I've been the heavyweight champion in Valor Fights. Uh, heavyweight champion in Showcase MMA, uh, tough alum, uh, season 30 with Amanda Nunez, I finished all my opponents. You know, outside I'm super bubbly, but when, when the door closes, I definitely turn it on, and I think I'm just a very violent, aggressive person. You can best believe there's gonna be violence. Season 30 of The Ultimate Fighter, I was blessed enough to uh, be a part of that. Working with Amanda Nunez was awesome. Uh, she really showed me what it really takes to be a champion. I tell people, adversity only makes you stronger. And uh, we've seen that on the show the very first day, I dislocated my elbow. And even though she thought that I was lying, we got it checked and I completely tore my UCL. I had the opportunity to go home. I had the opportunity to call a quiz, didn't even have to fight, but I knew that I didn't know if I'd have the chance again. So I stayed and I fought, and I landed the highlight of the season with my spinning wheel kick, and uh, he went up against the cage, and he was done. I mean, I, I should have finished the fight right there, but uh, he's back in it now. I just let him off the hook. Everybody's always gonna look back at season 30 and look at that as the highlight of the season, but that moment is gonna haunt me uh, for the rest of my life. Uh, I know that I had him finished. I had the fight done, and I just, I've learned a lot from that, and hopefully that fight IQ carries on to this fight. It makes me a different fighter. I know how to win. I've competed at high levels my whole life, and I just want to go and prove it. I'm ready for the UFC because that would definitely make a lot of noise, and I'm just a very exciting fighter to watch, and people love Channel Co. I want to show the world that I have belong here and I can one day be a world champion.